Good morning, children. So today we are going to do the questions and answers from which less of which lesson uh, the treasure within. It seems so interesting. Hafiz contractor narrates about his interests in studies that he was not interested in academics at all. So I am sure you went through the story. So now let's begin the question for you. The first one. It is likely that someone who is original and intelligent does not do very well at school. Should such a learner be called a failure? If not, why not? A learner who is original and intelligent may appear to be a failure at school, but the chances of his doing well in later life are bright. So actually what uh, I am trying to tell you is that you should not judge a student by his performance when he is too small, you know. At that time, he may not realize things, he may not understand things. So, he may not take interest in academics. But that does not mean that the child is not intelligent, okay. Now, we move on to the next question. What can schools do to draw out the best in, sorry, who in your view is an unusual learner? Okay, who is an unusual learner according to you? That is the question. An unusual learner can be a genius in any subject. He will be different from the rest. Yes, he always tries, tries to do things differently. What can schools do? Okay, now we move on to the next question. What can schools do to draw the best in unusual learners suggest whatever seems reasonable to you school should stop treating all the learners at as ordinary so what should they do they should not follow all the mechanical methods of teaching especially cramming they should try to discover the hidden talent in each learner and encourage him to do his best to develop it so School should never try to encourage cramming. That is simply learning by heart without understanding that too with your eyes closed. So that is not correct. What did Havi's contractor have nightmares about? You know what is a nightmare children? It is a very bad dream. A scary dream is a nightmare that which scares you, frightens you. What did the principal say to him which influenced him deeply? Actually, first I am showing you the questions. Okay, after that, we will do the, I will we'll give you the answers for these questions. What did the principal say to him which influenced him deeply? That year, I did not step out into the field. What was the busy, what was he busy doing? What was he busy doing? What distraction did Hafiz contractor create one day? So what distraction was it that he created one day? Would you have liked to participate in the distraction had you been with him? Okay, I think now let's move on to the answers one by one. So first, the first answer, that means the answer for the first question. A nightmare is a bad dream or a haunting fear. Hafiz had nightmares about mathematics examination. He was so scared of the subject because he was not interested in it. That is the reason he had nightmares about mathematics. The second answer. The principal told Hafiz that he was a good student but he never studied. His mother had worked hard to bring him up. It was a time now to rise to the occasion and study. At least he should help his mother, isn't it? He should get a good job afterwards. Now the third answer. He was busy studying books that year. Fourth one. Fourth first. For one whole hour he along with his friends played what? Chor police. Very favorite with small children you know. Chor police. Second. I would have avoided such a distraction for fear of the teacher. Moreover it was completely wastage of time. What nightmare did Hafiz contractor have? Hafiz contractor had nightmares about appearing for maths examination when he did not know anything. 
what was the one thing said by principal that changed his life whose life hafiz contractor's life the principal said hafiz how hard his mother worked he told him that his mother worked so hard to bring him up and that he should study hard and repay her mother's hard his mother's hard work what distraction did hafiz contractor create one day he played chore police for one whole hour you know that is the that is the distraction he tried to create so children please note down all these questions and answers it will help you especially at the time of examination now i have an interesting video for you i'm sure you are going to enjoy so here's the video for you Thank you. The treasure within is an interview between Miss Bela Raja, editor of Sparsh, a newsletter from the Resource Center, the Valley School, Bangalore, and Mr. Hafiz Contractor, one of India's leading architects. I used to have frightening dreams, but for the past four to five years, those dreams stopped. What dreams are you talking about and why do you think they have stopped now My continuous frightening dreams were about maths examination as I didn't know anything about it Now I have come out of that mindset and I don't have to think about education as there is no time to get dreams and I am able to overcome the problem Can you share the memories of your school days with us Till my second standard, I was good at studies, and in third standard, I neglected my studies. Oh, okay. I used to pass the time in games, cutting jokes, and passing pranks on others. I never used to study and used to copy during exams. As I could not remember the lessons which were taught in the class. I tried to get hold of the examination paper that was prepared to study. When I came to my 11th standard, one day the principal called me and said, "Look here son, I know you from day one. Though you are a good student, you will never study. Till date, you are under my care. From here onwards, you do it for yourself. You know that your mother has worked hard all these days to pay your fees as you don't have your father." You ignore this fact all these days and spend the whole time playing. It is time for you to rise to the occasion and study well. I was a very competent sports person. I have been a champion for a long time. I even captained the cricket team. Oh, that's great. I used to take part in all games. But in the 11th standard, I avoided entering the field. From that time onwards, I used to offer prayers and focused only on studies. I used to pass by copying in the exams. I realized in SSC that I cannot copy and pass. After getting second class and securing 50% marks in my SSC, the principal said, "Son, consider yourself as having got distinction." This is one of the memories of my school days. I did a lot of other things. See, uh, as far as other things are concerned, I can't remember them. I have poor remembrance of things. I take things as photographs and remember the matter as a photograph, but not mentally. In that way, it works. How did you feel when you were doing badly and the teachers pull you up in the school? as i was very much interested in playing i never cared about being pulled up every week i used to get beatings what was your mindset when you knew your teacher would be angry with you for not doing your homework and bad behavior and when you knew that you would get caned i never used to bother about my state of mind i used to lift my hand for caning as it would hurt me and used to forget it because i wanted to play 
Have you ever got a feeling of fearfulness or helplessness? I was more inclined towards playing and throwing funny pranks. One day, as I was not interested in studies, I created a distraction. For one hour, I played chore police with my friends. Okay. I used to collect money from 40 to 50 students as we were allowed to watch a movie in the town every Saturday. During that time, I never used to have my lunch. Only on my way back home, I used to eat till I was satisfied. Being the leader of a gang, we used to have gang fights and plants. I was interested in these things more than my academics. Okay. Students used to book my textbooks for the following year as they were brand new because I never opened them except one day before exams. 